I promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood, and peace. Justice, truth be ours forever. Jamaica, land we love. The reform of the justice sector is a priority of the government of Jamaica under the National Development Plan 2030. But this new face of justice, Mr. Speaker, will graduate into what will be the mantra of the Ministry of Justice, first-class justice. Not only facilities, service, but the delivery generally across Jamaica. Twenty nineteen marked an extraordinarily assertive push on the wheels of the Justice Ministry. New justice centers were opened in St. Elizabeth and St. Andrew. These are designed to give citizens direct access to all justice services. A contract of just over $626 million was also signed to begin expansion works on the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. All the courts across Jamaica, all the justice facilities must be brought up to first class. Initially one star, but ultimately I want five star. Last January, 10 judges were promoted to serve in higher positions in the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court. Welcome to the judiciary. In April, eight more members of the judiciary were appointed to serve at high levels within Jamaica's courts. And still in appointments, over 200 justices of the peace, or JPs, were commissioned into service and trained in mediation techniques. It's very often a thankless job, but I beg of you, do it to the best of your ability. Jamaica needs people like you who are willing to come forward and offer voluntary service. A memorandum of understanding was signed with the UK's Department for International Development, DFID, gave the Justice Ministry $51 million to assist with streamlining court services. This includes restructuring the office of the DPP by transferring more than 60 clerks of court to that office. So the idea now of the clerk of courts being taken out of administrative duties and just concentrating on prosecutorial work means that not only will cases be better organized, better prosecuted, but better outcomes will result. The 2019 also saw a significant increase in the clearance rate for court cases. All accident backlog files within the chambers were cleared, and the Justice Ministry noted a constant reduction of criminal case backlog. In 2019, the Legal Aid Council launched its website, granting citizens greater access to its resources. Today's launch of the website is a technological leap for the Legal Aid Council that will have a profound effect on the ordinary people of Jamaica who want to access critical information to get quality legal representation. Last year also marked an increased installation of audiovisual equipment in the island's courts. 78 courtrooms are now able to facilitate digital audio technology, while 19 courtrooms can accommodate audiovisual devices. In 2019, Jamaica, through the Ministry of Justice, signed the Convention on International Settlement Agreements resulting from mediation or the Singapore Convention. This will ensure that settlements reached by parties are binding and will promote mediation as an alternative means of resolving cross-border disputes. Planned, executed and fulfilled, the Ministry of Justice, balancing rights and responsibilities. Oh.